Very, very good presentation. Uh, a couple Thank questions. You. How are you going to communicate? It's going to be radio link, cell phone? Wireless. Wireless, okay. Um, I noticed right now the, the water system only serves the hotels, it doesn't serve the general public? No, it is only for tourists. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. And uh, under normal operation, will the RTUs be powered electrically? And then in case of a power failure, they'll be run off batteries or solar? That is correct. Those are the questions. I, I guess it's just an observation that um, only tourist areas get the benefit of the clean water and the technology mm -hmm. as compared to, you know, General Havana, where you basically have raw sewage going through an outfall. Uh, and that's where most of the people live, but I guess it's just a reality of what you have in the island, so. Congratulations. Um, Thank you. Says to me the, uh, let me answer the first question. Mm -hmm. Do you know how old is this pipe, the water main, the transmission main that is being used? Well, it is about five, five years. Okay. Five years. The construction on the Santa Maria Key and all the hotels are fairly new. Okay. Well. So well, it's in good state. <laughs> no, because it seems to me that a lot of emphasis has been placed in rehabbing the pump station mm -hmm. and monitoring the pressure of the system, but probably they haven't looked into if the water main has some leakage throughout the entire length delivering the water to the water supply to the hotels. No, because it's so new. <laughs> it's so new, yes. And uh, and they're interested in the pressure because the water main is 60 kilometers long. Okay. All right. Yes. Thank you for sharing the project with us. Thank you. Uh, in the five years that have been operations, mm -hmm. have there been any lessons learned, any issues that requires some retrofit. I don't know if you can answer this question. According to them, no. I can you know, So it was perfect from the beginning. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Never yeah. failed. No, that's not here. No, that's not an issue. Okay. Is there any history of why this was implemented there uh, being in your system? Was that in the original plans or was this afterwards? Well, uh, I don't know how old SCADA is here in the United States, oh, really? but in Cuba it's like iPhone 5. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and in order to run, tourism is, is our main source of income. So the first thing to do is to, um, all the technology available goes there, and that supports the country. So initially, no, they didn't have SCADA, but a SCADA came out, hey, we want it. Thank you. No, let me, let, no, let me just add that uh, I work for Miami Dade Water and Sewer, uh -huh. and I don't know how old the SCADA the technology is, but it was implemented in our utility company probably in the early 90s, 91, 92. I've been here for at least in Miami for over 20 some years. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I know that in Florida Power Light, we have had SCADA to monitor the uh, substation equipment mm -hmm. and breakers and operations and actually manually remove, operate them as uh, we see fit. So it, it's been some years. But, uh, cool. Techno technology doesn't always get as fast Correct. to Thank them you. as here. <laughs> um, one of the things you, you noted was the uh, ability to manually shut it down. Are you going to have the ability to remotely operate and control valves? Um, I noted the one thing, one of the questions I was going to be is, did you have the ability to mon uh, monitor chlorine residual, which you do, which is ideal? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.